one, we got we got to make some shots. We got we got a lot of a lot of looks from the three. Uh, we got to make them, otherwise the paint is going to be crowded, and turnovers are going to be um, there. We got to we got to step up and make some of these shots, and so it opens up things, and uh, the defense can you know play 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 us honest. Um, but our, too many turnovers, not, not enough made, made shots, and then we didn't get any stops uh, in that fourth quarter. And they went at, they went at us. They were, they were picking out, picking on a few guys, and they were just attacking them. You got to step up and get a stop, and we didn't do that. Fred, Scott, was it just missing shots? What, what did you think of your guys' actual offensive? process tonight no, it, it, I mean they were clogging it they were switching everything and they were they were daring our guys to shoot and you know that's when you don't make them you don't you, you feel like you know the ball becomes heavier and heavier but I, I told them many times during the timeouts don't worry about your last shot you're, you, you, you're acting like this ball is a medicine ball it's a, it's a basketball it's going to go in for you you got to step up and shoot it with confidence and uh, we didn't have it tonight uh, from the three we didn't have it um a lot of guys that can make shots, um, you know, periodically um, throughout any game, and they didn't. We didn't make shots, and we got to be able to step up and make them. We got some guys, you know, going to come back later in the week, but these are great opportunities for guys to get in and and, and play the minutes. And but you know, we did turn the ball over too many times as well. But we competed. You know, I think there's nothing. Like I said, we 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 made some mistakes, and they were costly. We probably made. Um, five critical mistakes on easy threes for them, and they and they made all of them. Um, but I thought I thought you know there's some just the turnovers and making shots is is, is was um, was a thorn in our side. And why why have you guys struggled so much this year closing out games? Um, well, we got to get better. We got to figure it out. Um, you know, we will. We will. We got some good players. Um, guys are playing minutes that probably not used to playing closeout minutes. Um, but we will. We get. We get better. I still believe in our, our guys' ability to, to close games. We haven't closed um, many games out, but we're right there. We're battling. Um, but tonight, I thought tonight, we, that fourth quarter, we 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 missed some shots and turned the ball over. Anyone else? I don't see any other questions. No. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Scott. Just what did you make of uh, John's performance? John Wall, what he? Yeah, he played played well. He played well. Didn't shoot the ball good, but he played well. It was a good floor game. He's a good player. I'm happy for him. I mean, I didn't want. I'm not happy that he won tonight, but I'm happy that he's back. Fought hard for three years uh, to come back. Hope that he has a a healthy a healthy year and has finish up his career healthy. He's, he's earned that. He, he worked hard to be in this position. Like I said, I coached him basically only for the first year I was here. And so I, I saw him and that to me, that's, that was impressive seeing him compete uh, in his rehab. Ava. Scott, you talked about guys um, still learning how to close games. Just what happened in the, in the fourth there after the um, challenge that was overturned and it felt like the Rockets kind of went on a, a little run after that? Was just, that just a little bit of panic from your – what did you see? Yeah, you know, I thought that was a charge, but they said that he was moving. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I trust them. They had uh, James and Michael and uh, Robert to new, but those, those two guys are the best in the business. And – they saw it. They got a chance to look at it closely. I looked at it closely. It was one of those 51, uh, 49, you know, we needed a 50, 50 and Kamala to decide on our, our favor. Ryan. Coach, uh, what did you make of uh, Russell's performance today? Obviously, his first game back in Houston since the trade. But uh, what did you make of his performance? Yeah, I like. I liked. To, he he took another step into getting getting his game right. Like I said he's been out for a while. He's been banged up for all season. But I think 
tonight was a, a step in the right direction, getting to the basket, uh, getting to the free throw line. Uh, he's a rebounder. He's a passer. He's a good player. I mean, he's a great player. Um, and he's going to get better. It's going to get better each game, each game out. His body's going to uh, get into NBA shape. Um, it's tough. It's definitely tough. And for these fights, and he doesn't make any excuses. I've been around him for you know, a long time, and he's not an excuse maker. He's going to compete, and he has a lot of pride in his game, and he's going to keep working. And we're going to win some games. Um, like I said, a lot of guys played and getting great experience, and we made some critical mistakes and didn't make some shots, closing out the game, made some turnovers. And those are those are things that we are correctable, and those are things that we're going to get guys coming back at the end of the week, hopefully. And we can, you know, we got one more game on this trip, and we can, you know, it's going to be a tough one tomorrow night, but we still have to go out there and compete and give ourselves a chance to win, make some shots, and keep keep care of the ball. Last question from Anthony. Hey, Coach. Uh, I saw in the fourth quarter, um, Russell and John were getting a little uh, Pro Extra is the Home Depot's loyalty program built just for pros. Members earn rewards like two rental center. Um, sorry about that. And it's I just okay. want to take on that. Um, what I got to fix a couple holes in, in my condo, so maybe send that link to me. <laughs> no, yeah. So, um, but Russ and, and John really going back and forth in the, in the fourth there, uh, and they got double technicals. Really, yeah. what was going through um, that conversation, if you heard? Well, I mean, two competitors, two competitors. I don't get involved in players talking and resumes and do all that. Both of them have a pretty good resume, both of them. And they both compete, both winning players. Uh, don't know what they were saying. I'm certain, I'm assuming it was, you know, we're, look at the scoreboard. I mean, all this stuff I've heard for 30 years and I've heard some good ones. I've heard some bad ones. I don't know what was tonight, but, uh, I don't get involved in it. Um, talking never wins, uh, playing wins and they play better than us. You have to give them credit. They played better than us, but we competed. Like I said, we're shorthanded, but we still gave ourselves, we, we gave ourselves some battles. Uh, some, uh, we give ourselves a good battle and then we got to just keep doing that. And you know, like I said, um, whatever they said, doesn't mean anything. It's we move on to the next game. Hey Brad, you guys had it within reaching distance and then they pulled away in the end of the fourth quarter. That's kind of been a theme for you guys this year, whether you guys have a lead or whatever it is, just kind of struggles in the last five minutes. Why, why do you think that's been? First praise my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, I always put that on me. That's on me. Uh, I got to close out the game. I got to be better. A lot of easy shots. I turn the ball over. So I always put that on me. Sure. Neil. I got to be better and win the game. Brad, obviously, you guys have dealt with you know a lot of adversity this season. Um, three and ten condensed season. You guys don't even know if maybe you will play all 72 uh, games. What's your level of confidence right now? Well, I'm always confident. You know, no human being takes my confidence, that's for sure. Uh, and I feel the same with our group. Uh, it's just we got a lot of tough breaks for us this year. You know, it's a weird season, weird camp. COVID hit us hard. You know, we have a lot of guys that we just called up, so we're just – a lot of stuff for us is on the fly, but there's no excuse. No, uh, I got to be better, got to lead better. Um, I got to scrap up some wins. Ava. Brad, there was clearly so much love between you and John out there tonight. Um, what was it like now that you finally faced him and, and what was it like to kind of see him make his comeback? With one, I'm always happy for him, you know, to be back on the floor and just showcase he's healthy. And, you know, uh, he's able to just get back to just playing a game he loves and having fun. Uh, but it definitely felt weird playing against him. Uh, you know, but at the same time, you know, it was just kind of like, you know, we're both competitors. It was almost like a practice setting. We're just going at it. He's going hard. I'm going hard. But, you know, it is, it is definitely weird uh, him being on that other side. But you know, I'm happy for him. Uh, you know, he's, he played a great game tonight. 
you know, he's just continuing to showcase you know, what he's capable of doing. I'm just happy that he's healthy for me. Was it a little bit motivating for you in the first half? It looked like you guys were almost trading like highlight shots out there. No, no, I never, I never try to get into that that type of conversation in the game. Uh, but you know, I know he's an attacker. He knows I'm an attacker. Uh, we never want to let the other one get off with an easy one. You know, I know a lot of his moves. He knows a lot of mine. So we try, we go at it. You know, we try not to let each other off the hook. Uh, but you know. Once he's gone, he's really tough to guard. You know, we, we, we struggle keeping him in front of us, uh, stopping him in pick and roll, stopping him in transition. You know, he kind of got what he wanted. Christos. Hello, Bradley. I would like to ask you, what is the main issue about uh, your game as a team and how, what the, uh, what would you like to change about your approach uh, on the game as a team? Uh, I feel like our approach is fine. You know, we, we don't come into the game thinking we're going to lose or thinking that we're not going to come out and compete. You know, I feel like our approach is fine. It's, it's up to us to just play consistent, you know, more consistent throughout the game, uh, consistent for 48 minutes. And, you know, like Fred said earlier, the last five couple minutes of the game, you know, I gotta, I gotta close those out. You know, I gotta be better. Um, you know, there's, there's no excuse here. We don't have whoever that don't matter to me. Like I gotta close my game. I gotta be better. So uh, nobody's, you know, happy. Obviously, we're all upset. We're all, we all want to win. We're all frustrated. But you know, we, we continue our same approach. We come in. We get work in every day. We got a great group of guys, you know, who, who have a tremendous work ethic, uh, you know, who want to better themselves every day, who want to get better, but, you know, it's just the consistency on the floor that we need, you know, from me included. Stop turning the damn ball over and close our games. Go ahead. Russell, um, Stephen Silas said that during the interview process that you vouched for him and that he's not sure he'd have the job if it weren't for you. What impressed you about him? Uh, you know, I like uh, straightforward guys. And, uh, you know, I'm very respectful of guys in their position. And, uh, you know, at the time, I was part of the Rockets organization. And uh, part of my job to be able to, you know, we get a new coach, want to talk to him, understand his goals, his aspirations, uh, first time head coach, and understand um, he may have things he may have in mind. And I was just um, listening and understanding the things he may have wanted, and um, you know, we were fine, had a great relationship. Um, you know, and I, I know he's going to do an amazing job as a head coach. Ava, Russ, um, Scotty kind of put it simply that he's just said you guys need to keep making more shots and turn the ball over left with less. With the um, shorthanded roster that you guys have, what do you view as the issues, and what can you do as you're still kind of playing with fewer and fewer guys to get back into rhythm? I mean, you just got to figure it out. There ain't really too much to do. You got to figure it out. Everybody's playing in different positions. They're not normally playing in. Guys are playing more minutes than they ever played in their lives. And, you know, you just got to figure it out. Ain't nothing else to do. Anyone else? Yeah, I'll go again. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> Russ, John said that um, the trash talk between you guys in the fourth quarter was just regular trash talk and you've been kicking his ass for years. What what did you say to him at that point? What was that little jawing at each other? Listen, you know, I think, I listen, I don't be start, I don't start talking shit. People just talking. Um, and I guess for the need him and Marcus to talk. Um, and I defend myself because I don't, you know, allow people just to say anything especially when I know the facts as it pertains to anybody on the court playing against, um, you know. So I think they just start talking shit because they just start to win, start to win it at that time. So, you know, it's cool though. We play them again. <laughs> Thanks, Russ. Mm -hmm. uh, anyone else? Fred, I saw you just came back in. You have one? Yeah, I, I apologize if this has already been asked, but Russell, you guys have, have, have either lost some leads or been, un, been unable to hold on to some of them late in games, last five minutes or so. 
what, what do you diagnose has been the problem? Just kind I mean, of you know, got to get back to playing, playing and get our rhythm back. Uh, you know, getting our guys back, getting practice more, some practice time. You know, execution stuff. You know, guys in different positions. You know, guys like myself, many restrictions. It's just uh, you know, it's a lot of a lot of variables that goes into that. It's not as easy as it may look. Um, you know, so got to figure it out. But um, we will once we do. Um, you know, we we'll be all right. All right, we'll finish up with Ryan. Russ, uh, even though you only spent the one season in Houston, did this loss, um, you know, have any? more of an impact mean anything else to you or was it just kind of you know pick up and move on yeah uh, I mean, unfortunately i don't like losing um to anybody uh any or any night um it's just circumstances that how we lost is unfortunate you know um but like i said we play one more time um and hopefully we have our guys back and be able to go and uh, try to get away.